Hi everyone, welcome to Life Skills Day 19. Today we are going to be looking at entry level jobs. An entry level job is a job that you can get without any work experience. So typically you have to start out working in a position that's lower than others. So when you first start working somewhere, Unless you already have experience, it would be hard to become the boss or the manager right away. So we're going to look at some jobs that a lot of students have when they first start working or anybody when they start working. So the first um, job that I'm going to read to you is a cashier. So a cashier, we can see that this person is actually sitting. So this is something important to note. If you do have trouble standing for long periods of time and you have a physical reason why you would need to sit, being a cashier who sits is a great job that you could start out having. Typically though, cashiers are standing. So here are some job sites that have cashiers, grocery stores, restaurants, coffee shops, department stores, hardware stores, Home Depot, gift shops, post offices, retail stores, fast food restaurants, amusement parks, and bookstores. So there are a lot of places that have cashiers. Something that's fun to do is to think about places that you might like. So for instance, Mike, I know you love amusement parks. You love Six Flags. But if you love Six Flags and you also want to maybe work there, being cashier at a store there is a way for you to be interested in the place you're working at and you're still getting job experience. So what they do, a cashier scans barcodes or selects items on a device. They receive payment from customers in exchange for a product or service. Counting money at the beginning and end of shift. Give back change refunds, and receipts. Inform customer of total cost bag, of total cost, bag products. So these are all things that cashiers do. The skills they need, customer service soft skills. They have to be nice to people, right? They have to be friendly too. Basic mathematics, counting and money handling, active listening, Grocery store effectively bag products. Can easily learn how to use a cash register or a digital cash register. And down here, it tells us that this is an indoors job. You might need math or number skills. You work with technology, work with people. And you're also working alone. So you, you do help the customers, but you don't usually have more than one person who works with you, next to you. You're all at your own separate station. All right, our next entry level job is a dishwasher. So Dara, this is actually part of your job at Seabrook, which again, like we talked about, when you first start out somewhere, you have to start out small and doing jobs like even dishwashing because you need to get experience there. And Dara, if you think back, you started with helping wash the dishes, but now they're having you do fruit cups, interact with customers, serve them. So you work your way up. Job sites include restaurants, hotels, fast foods, grocery store, private residences, Seabrook, bakeries, delis, coffee shops, bars, and cafeterias. So what they do is clean and scrub dishes, utensils, pots and pans by hand or using a dishwasher machine. And at Seabrook, they use a dishwasher machine and Dara, you have to load all of the dishes in the proper spots. Dry dishes after rinsed. Place clean dishes in storage areas. Dispose of waste. Clean kitchen areas and floor. The skills you need. Time management. Cautious or gentle with fragile dishes. Willingness to get wet and dirty. Ability to effectively clean a dish using a sponge and sink. Recognize when a dish is clean versus dirty. Good hygiene when handling clean dishes. 
And here are your skills. Work alone, might get dirty, stand or move around, limited job tasks, so that means there's not that many tasks you have to do other than dishwashing, and cleaning. Finally, our last entry level job is going to be an auto detailer. I love this picture. So job sites, drive to commercial or residential customers. Auto detailing shops, car sales lots. So what do they do? They clean company or personal vehicles. Thoroughly wash, buff, wax, vacuum, steam and deodorize interior, inside, and exterior, outside, of vehicles. Use of chemicals to clean. Use tools or machines such as a vacuum or pressure sprayer. The skills you need. Stamina for physical demands such as walking, crouching, bending, and standing for extended periods. If you think about it, there's a lot of spots on a car. You might have to get the wheels or under parts of it. So you have to be able to get in those positions and be comfortable working like that. Basic safety understanding of chemicals. Basic customer service. Attention to detail. Careful with delicate materials or surfaces. So this is an outdoors job. You stand and move around. You work with tools. There's cleaning and it's a day shift. So friends, now that we have talked about these three entry level jobs, cashier, dishwasher, and auto detailer, what you're going to do is click into the Google Slides. It's going to look like this. What you'll do when you first open this is you're actually going to put your name here. So you click right into the yellow, type your name in. Then you're going to be dragging the words to the right spots to make a sentence. So have somebody help you read through them so you can move all four of these at the end of each word. So I'll do a little example for you. So you're gonna move all of these to the right spots, okay? See how you do with that. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to put a check mark under each one of the spots that you enjoy, the parts that you like. Do you like the fact that a cashier works inside? If so, drag your check mark like that. Do you like math and numbers? No? Leave it blank. Do you like working with technology? Sure, give it a check mark. Working with people, you can give it a check mark if you want to. Working alone, maybe you don't like that. So you move the checks. It's okay if you only have one or two checks. Next, you're going to circle what skills you need for the job. So if a cashier has to bag products, you're going to drag, whoops, careful not to do what I just did, but you're going to drag your circle over, oh, and that is something I'm going to have to switch for you. Give me a second, but you'll be dragging the circle over top of the ones that you think you need for the job. So if you think you're gonna need bagging products, drag your circle over that. Same thing with your other parts as well. And I'm gonna just real quick bring all of these to the front so that you will be able to do this on your own. Okay. And then finally, the last part that you will be doing for each job is filling out if you're interested in this job. If you're interested, drag your circle over it. If you're not, you can say no. If you are not sure and you need more information, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about these entry-level jobs. Um, 
we'll be doing more activities on the Google Doc, so let me know how you like doing them like this too, and if you like dragging around different things and filling out your own Google Slides. I think it's pretty fun. All right, friends, have a great Friday, and I will see you on Monday. Bye.